This is Sensei Sapone here. And today we're going to look at uh, advanced unit conversions. We're going to look at how to convert speeds. So in this first example, we're going to convert 60 miles an hour into, actually, we're ahead of ourselves. Bah. We're going to convert 60 miles an hour into feet per second. So the idea is if you're in a vehicle that is traveling 60 miles an hour, a typical highway speed, that means every single hour that goes by, if you maintain that pace, you would travel 60 miles in that hour. But I want to know how many feet you would travel every single second. And what makes this problem difficult is if all we had to do was convert 60 miles into feet, we would simply go 60 miles times mile here, feet here, 5,280 feet is one mile, and you multiply across, and you'd be done. And that would give you an answer in feet. The problem is not only do we have to convert miles into feet, we have to convert hours into seconds, in the minutes, and finally in the seconds. So we have not only a multiple step conversion problem, but also units in the numerator and denominator that must be changed. So let's take a look at this. We have 60 miles per one hour. And of course, I'm going to get rid of the miles first, doing exactly what I just did, times. If miles is there, I want miles here. And of course, I want to go into feet. One mile is 5,280 feet. Now, this is cool and all. If I multiply 60 times 5,280, I am left with feet per hour. It would give me a unit. It would tell me how many feet I travel per hour instead of miles per hour. But I want to know feet per second. So now I got to get rid of this hour somehow. I have an hour in the bottom or in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply it by another blank fraction. If hour is down here, I need hour up here. So they will cancel. Now I know that um, a lot of people, again, I want to go into seconds, but a lot of people don't know the conversion between hours and seconds. So I, we do know the conversion between hours and minutes. And we know that one hour is 60 minutes so we see these hours are going to cancel and if we multiply across and then divide by the uh, denominator we would now get a unit that's in feet per minute so we've now gone to feet per minute so if we stopped right here we put an equal sign in this would tell me how many feet per every minute you travel but I wanted to know seconds so I need to get rid of this minute in the denominator so I'm gonna put a minute up here because units cancel in division and I finally know I want to go into seconds so seconds is gonna go down here I know that one minute is 60 seconds these minutes cancel and if you look the only unit I have left is feet and seconds so now I am in feet per second so you multiply across 60 times 5280 times 1 times 1 divided by 1 times 1 divided by 60 divided by 60. You basically take all of this, multiply across, and divide by each number down here. So it's, and then you get your final answer. To clean that up, uh, we end up with 88 feet per second. Miles cancels the miles. Um, hour cancels with the hour. Minute cancels with the minute. We are left with seconds, which is here. We are left with feet. When you multiply across and divide by 60, divided by 60, you end up with 88 feet per second. So if you're on a highway and you're going 60 miles an hour, every single second that goes by, you will travel 88 feet. That is what that means. That's how we convert speeds from one unit into another. And we will look at one more problem just to make sure we have it down. We're now going to convert 60 miles an hour into meters per second. So we have 60 miles per one hour. And of course, I need to get rid of the miles. Um, I know there's 1.609 kilometers in a mile. And I know that there's 
a uh, thousand meters in a kilometer. So I'm first going to convert miles into kilometers and then that into meters. So blank fraction. I want mile here. And of course I want kilometer here. One mile is 1.609. So these miles are going to cancel. I am left with kilometers per hour as a unit. I need to get rid of kilometers. Kilometers is here. So I'm going to put it here. Unit in the top. It's got to go in the bottom so they cancel. And of course I'm going into meters finally. Uh, one kilometer is 1,000 meters. So kilometers cancels. So right now I am in the units meters per hour. If I multiplied 60 times 1.609 times 1,000, that would tell me how many meters I travel in an hour if I were going 60 miles per hour as a speed. So now what I have to do is I have to convert this hour into seconds. So another blank fraction. Hours in the denominator. That means I got to put hour in the numerator. Unit that they got to cancel. Units cancel and division. And I'm going to go into minutes. One hour is 60 minutes. So these hours are finally going to cancel. And again, one more time, I need to go into seconds. Minutes is down here, so minutes has to go up here. Seconds here. One minute is 60 seconds equals. So you're going to multiply across. Multiply all these numbers together. Then divide it by each one of these numbers. Or since these are all 1, these really don't matter. Multiply these numbers across. Divide by 60. Divide it by 60. And that gives you your answer. So if you were traveling 60 miles an hour, not only is that 88 feet per second, as we just saw, you would be traveling 26.8 meters per second. An easier way to solve this problem would probably have been a to convert 88 feet per second into meters per second using the foot to meter ratio. But uh, anyway, it was good to see this multi-part problem. Miles cancels with miles. Kilometers cancels with kilometers. Uh, hour, unit of time, cancels here. Minute cancels with minutes. Top, bottom, top, bottom. Uh, we are left with meters per second. 26.8 meters per second. So that's how we do some advanced uh, unit conversions. That's why when we started simple with inches and feet, I told you to try to get used to this system of setting up a blank fraction and conversion factor because the problems only get more challenging than that as you go on into chemistry and physics and so on. Uh, hopefully that helps. Mrs. the poem.